192. I am your host, Nomer Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Hello. How are you doing, man? Sick. Uh, literally, have a, a sore throat, stuffy nose. Uh, I guess my body decided to purge all of the illnesses out of my body before uh, the convention happens. Talking about Bronnie Scott. So, yeah. Wow. That's one good way to get things out of the way first. I guess so, unless I get sick over there because it's cold. Then again, Scotland, of course. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, bring one close, bring one close. And also joining us today is Ro. I'm not in charge today. Yay. <laughs> Since when have you been in charge? Last episode. Oh, yeah, that one. Mm. How are you doing? Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. It's been a slow but somewhat productive week. Can't complain, but can't throw a party either. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Actually, I can't throw a party. I just need to find some cake. Who needs cake? The cake is a lie. We get pizza. Oh, that. That works, too. Pizza cake! Oh, wow. That concept. I think someone did that before. No, that was Canada. They made a pizza... Actually, yeah, it was pizza cake. <laughs> I was thinking of pizza pie for some reason. Uh, yes. But still, it's awesome, it's awesome. So, yeah, it's another week, another episode, and no guess. It's near con season, and... It's end of the year, you know, people tend to be really busy. So, yeah, it's one of those episodes again. But we do have news, and in today's news, well, John Delancey hints that the next hiatus may end next year. Hmm, I wonder what does he mean by that. Over on the Twitter, he said on his timeline, uh, timeline story is going to be excellent, MLP scripts are really fun, but... A year? That's a long wait. And the nominee doc is happening. All good. And someone asked what does he mean by a year? And yeah, he replied with, I asked and they say one year. I'm not sure how much of that is production as opposed to scheduling. So, hmm. Well, don't forget John Delancey is Discord. You could be just, you know... Mm. Well, tossing a little, you know, pepper into the audience. True, true. And not, you know, what was the f- phrase? Well, yeah. It could be. No, are anything. you suggesting that John Delance is trolling the fans? Well, not trolling. Maybe, you know, actually, yeah, that, uh, yeah, I could be wrong. It could be trolling, but no, 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 yeah, right. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I take it back. He could never do that, or could he? <laughs> oh, mm, yeah. Mm. Hmm, could he? You are not allowed to. When you okay, I don't know if you know how this works, but when you are sign up for a big production of anything, even the smallest things, you are meant to sign uh, an NDA. That is a non-disclosure agreement. You cannot give away details of the things that you are working on, or else we would know about all the projects that all these actors are in, and then we will know the cameos, we will know the the special appearances, we will know the hooks to different movies and all that. We don't know at the point that we are recording this podcast if 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 Luke Skywalker is going to be on the next Star Wars movie, even though we heard that Mark Hamill is involved in the shooting, we don't know how much of Mark Hamill we're going to see in that movie. Mm-hmm. And that's why we have NDAs. So we don't get movies and TV shows spoiled ahead of us. Now, the one-year wait... I don't know about any other fans, but I am actually looking forward to it because I need a one-year hiatus right now. I am all ponied out. I've been ponied out for like two years. I need a change of winds. My God, so much pony stuff. Eh, well, sometimes too much of a good thing is a bad thing. But, yeah. The, the cynic Amen. in me is talking. The cynic in me is talking and all that. Yeah, you can say whatever you want, but good God, do I need a break. Well, everybody does feel that way. And yes, you do deserve a break. But yeah, I mean, uh, with what John said, it does make sense because he's not even sure, like, is it production or scheduling? So we'll just have to wait and see because the good thing is we are expecting another season. So yay! If we do have a one-year break, then, uh, wow, there's going to be a long wait. But yeah, it's going to be worth it. We got content. We still got the comics. We still got the quote-unquote movie so yeah we're gonna have we're still gonna have ponies so yay our request girls if anything oh true we still need more sunset sunset is fun so as we wait for season six apparently the people at 4chan 
kind of leak or kind of have a list of what the new episode is going to New Are you counting that as news? Are we actually counting 4chan, ru- 4chan rumors as news? Are we actually doing that now? 4chan is where Pony started, and come on, it's, it's going to no, be one no, of those... No, it's not. Not really? No. It was no, that Pony one started of... on the... No, no, Pony started on the half. The Brony fandom started on 4chan. Yeah, I mean, yeah true. Oh, true, okay. So, but, you know, Brony fandom started there, and somehow, you know, people work... It's fourth chance, come on. So anyway, we do know that it's going to be 26 episodes. And all 26 episodes are there. So we got, what, really interesting names. Like, the first two episodes, the Cutie Castle. Okay, that's kind of a strange name. And then Starlight Express, Cutie Marks on the Spot. <laughs> wow, the names are getting... Cutie Marks the Spot. Yeah, Cutie Marks the Spot. And Rainbow Rescue, the most excellent princess runaway... Success, uh, what, what, one away success was it? The Apple yep. Family Recipe, the Fall, Fall for the Cute. The, the name, the names are believable, yo, like. Fall for the Yeah, cuties, but you know that spot, they right? got debunked. They, the, I think it was either Big Jim Miller or someone else working for Hasbro that said, oh, look at that list, so hilariously wrong. <laughs> what? Yeah. Somebody went on Twitter, asked them, and they said, no, that is not, that is not the actual list of episodes, guys. So, wait, wait, you're telling me that a, a guy from Hasbro says that it's not real? Like, um, okay, I, I opened the news here and it's by Brian Leonard. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Brian Leonard, he is an executive director for Hasbro Studios. So I think he, yeah, okay. But come on! Like, that, 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 that title! Out of this, no, no, what was the one again? Like, uh, I love that pun. Um, QT marks the spot. Like, come on. That's a good one. No? I mean, yeah, the titles are pretty good and hilarious, as he also mentioned that in the, tw- in the Twitter. But it's not canon unless the creator so, uh... says so. So all this is, well, speculations, rumors. Oh, not true and at all. Not even rumor. I mean, it's confirmed. It's not. It's fake. Oh, confirmed, but come but on. Confirmed. Fear and, Checkmate. Fear Check, and please. clothing in Las Vegas. Is... Come on. I'm not, I mean, yeah, I gotta give whoever made this, uh, credits for creativity. That was, that is a pretty darn good list. I know, but come on, it's like, if you're in the week this week, it's like, oh. My favorite one is Uncle Spike. I'm like, hmm, Spike is an uncle. Interesting. That will make a lot of sense considering that Cadence and Shane Arma are going to have a baby. Oh yeah, so that, that'd be cool. They're going to be, they're going to be left, uh, they're gonna have to leave the baby with someone. And maybe because they don't want to have Twilight involved, they might involve Spike. And hey, look, another Spike episode for the fandom to hate. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but okay, uh, below that is uh, Darling Little Angel. <laughs> We've been talking about him a lot, and we do want to see more of him. And there's Holder's Boulder. Holder's Boulder. Oh, another Christmas episode, probably? Mm, no idea. Wait, whose name was Boulder in the episodes again? I forgot. Uh, Tom the Rock. That was Tom the Rock and what, what, what was what was the Mod Pie's pet rock name again? Boulder. Boulder. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, wasn't sure. It was a, was it a hurt? Was it Boulder? Can't remember. Yeah. Could be an episode that it could be Boulder. That'd be cool. <laughs> but I like uh, twenty four. Big trouble in Little Equestria. <laughs> oh, that's a ba- that's that's a uh, parody of reference Big to that trouble, movie. Yeah. Big trouble in Little Chinatown. Yeah, Love that yeah. movie. I know. It'll be awesome. Just think about it, guys. Like, like. I, I, I want this. I, I know it's from the Beauty Micro Crusaders to the rescue. <laughs> I know this is not real. I know it. I, I know. If um, Brian says it's not real, then I'm gonna believe him. But come on, look at that. Look at those names. Like some of the things in here, I want them to be real so we can just review and look at it. Like, oh, come on. Am I the only one? No. Man, it would be a cool idea. It would be. But what is said is said. Mm, true that. True that. <sighs> Don't jump to conclusion, guys. Don't jump to conclusion. Yeah, remember true. that this... Remember, 4chan is the same website that said that Brotherhood Social was going to be about Fluttershy's brother. Mm, true. But, you know, they did say that probably Fluttershy's relatives will be in the next season, probably. Talking about that, like, our rumors are smashed, so we got that. But things that are confirmed and are not true is something that Amy Keating Roger wrote. She was a writer for the show, but now she's working for Disney. And yeah, she recently released 
raw scripts for the show that has been released, like uh, for what would you call this, a friend indeed, and so on. And yeah, this is pretty interesting. If you have been wondering how does a script looks like, go and click on the links in the show notes, and you can see them. And some unreleased characters like Galap a Gal- Galap a Gus. <laughs> That's oh, a mouthful. The puns in this show, God. Oh, cut scene with Applejack and Rarity from the last roundup. That'll be interesting to see. And rough lyrics for the voting song in the Cutie One Crusaders. It's all there. Like, you can read the things behind the mind of the person who does the show and probably learn a thing or two. So this is interesting. Have you read on this one, guys? Yep. I looked over it, but I don't think it gives like much more than what we already know about the episodes written by by AKR. Yeah, but like I've been always wondering how does a script look like? And well, there is probably people who went to college or university for script writing knows how it looks like, but I didn't, so yay. <laughs> and that's how it looks. I still can't get it over the names. What? Hofus, Turnip, Sad Sack, <laughs> Flip Flop, Dashing Dan. Oh wow, the name! Tom Fullery. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hula Baloo. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, uh, what what was it like? Periwinkle. You got that one too. Wow. Mooney Eye. Dogwood. Dogwood. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. Yo, me root beer. Okay. Oh wow, but yeah, I I find this interesting. I find this interesting. Really cool. Uh, it's like if we were to do a show live and we were to write down scripts and whatnot. Ah, uh, that will never happen. You never know. You never know. Life's crazy. One moment we're here and the next we're somewhere else. Uh, true that, true that. It's one of those things. It's one of those things. Uh, it would be cool to have Kyle here since he writes a lot of things. I want to know what he thinks about this. Oh, well. Well, this is in the archive for the history books. Hmm? True that, true that. Of the show. But with that, we reach... The last news, and well, it's a short one. Good grief! What is what is with this show lately? That is so short. We we are so losing the grip on what we used to do. You know, rambling nonstop, constantly about everything. We are losing it, man. We are losing it. Nah, just the weather changing. Yeah, we we had that before. Let's just give it time, man. Give it time. It's like what. Everybody's in the lazy mood right now. It's kind of cool. Everybody wants to kind of rest and play Fallout 4. Yeah, that's our uh-huh. oh, good grief now. Yeah. The, the, oh, well, I, I read an interesting article on the Facebook saying that, that one website, because of Fallout 4, their traffic plummet. <laughs> Not really. It's only down for 10%. Really? I, yes, I've seen that article on Facebook. My friends shared it. We know what website it is, and I tell you, Okay, we know this website. It's let's not gonna mention names, but it's really big, really, really, really big. Mm-hmm. And ten percent for them is not actually a number. Oh, uh, true. But come on, like ten percent, like that's saying something. Well, I guess if it means some kind of significance, <coughs> then maybe. But I wouldn't know exactly and how much ten percent is in terms of scaling. Uh, true, but still, is ten percent is not. I that do remember much. they did release an article when they had the play, uh, the what was it, Packers American football championship going on something in the states now that now the numbers back then did drop for like for like dramatically drop like bang on the grand floor drop this is nothing well it's sports like for America, exactly yeah. and this is a video game that everyone's been like crazy about bang. like it's like an international thing we're talking here and this and we're and i'm talking about american football that's all in america mm. and when i read the article they had like a woo, down to the ground drop Eh, and then all of a sudden, when the games are over, like back up top on the ratings. Yeah, it's one of those. Always get to show that real sports can never replace gaming. What? <laughs> uh, true, but still, it's one of those things. And yeah, if you're if you have Fallout Four, that's awesome. I personally don't have it because I don't have the cash for it. <laughs> so I've seen a TV computer for that thing. Ah, uh, yes, true. That. that thing is performance savvy, from what I was told. My buds are playing it, saying it's well. The, they're all playing on the lowest setting. Even the, that guy with like the best of the best PCs as of now. Mm. Well, maybe not the best, but yeah, the game is extremely, extremely highly detailed with the shades and the shadows and the mar. 
and uh, Alice, and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, one of those things. Like I, I, I seen a video online. It shows this guy creating, you know, the character creation, and he made a face. He made Abraham Lincoln. Like, wow. <laughs> it's like, did mm. you see that one post on Twitter when someone made freaking Nigel? Oh God! Very I need smashing. To, I need to check that out. Wow. Okay. I thought I sent you that link, didn't I? No, no, you didn't. You didn't. But wow. And then made you do realize that we movies. haven't talked about ponies for like ten minutes now. Interesting. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. We gotta have a little variety. Yeah. Ponies are cool and everything, but uh, they don't exactly make the entire world spin. There are mm-hmm. some other things out there. True. I mean, like we do have ponies. We talk about ponies for a bit. We talk about the whole news and whatnot. So yeah, I mean. It's a balance. We need to balance things out. We need to diverse our portfolio. Whatever that means. Well, we're going to return back to ponies. I did play Killer Instinct, and I really got confused at that one part where I met the unicorn. What? I was like, okay, so I'm going through hordes and hordes of enemies, hack and slash my way through, and the next thing I know, holy mother of goodness gracious, it's a unicorn. Oh, you're talking about Killer's dead, right? Yes. You said what did I say? Killer Instinct. My brain derped, I apologize. <laughs> no, because Killing Instinct is a fighting game, so I was like... Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know what it was like. They both have the word killing in it. Killer, kill, you know, killer, kill, whatever. My brain did that. So I mentioned I got a bad memory and a good beard. That's true, you did, you did, you did. Uh, but anyway, before we ramble on to Infinity and nothing, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show... We really do need your suggestions. You can contact us at themishowgmail.com or you can catch us on the Twitters. The show Twitter account is at MBS Show. CityBot will read up on your tweets and try to integrate them into the show. She will try really, really hard. If we ever receive any tweets. Yes, true that. We did have a few likes, quote unquote. Wow, I can't believe Twitter's using likes now. Anyway, we did get a few likes from a few people. The loves. Yeah. Wait, wait they calling love. they calling it loves now, really? I hearts. I don't know. <laughs> I think one. The, I think it's because of that one episode and one uh, punch. One punch. One punch man. Why? What was that? One punch man was it? Because uh-huh. it was one this episode where he punched a star into oblivion, and the next thing we know, Twitter replaces stars with hearts. <laughs> Someone even made a post about that. <laughs> The real destroyer of the stars on Twitter, and they, they just saw the screenshots of One Punch Man. Oh. Just matching that Stark dude or whatever. Oh, wow. It's like, okay, oh. that explains a lot. Yeah. So anyway, you can catch, you can catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And, yeah, I don't know. Uh, James, when can you reach you, man? Well, you know me. Ask com. You can find me on James underscore Cork on Twitter. You can find me on JamesCork.DVNR.com. Uh, just put James Cork on Google and you will find me. I'm easy to find. And what about Euro? You can find me on my Twitter is at Trulicious underscore art, where I tweet about comics and other fancy arts that I share there. My Facebook, facebook.com slash Relicious, where I post my personal art, or my Tumblr gallery, reliciousgalleries.tumblr.com. Yes, I recreated my Tumblr because I kind of took it down and a hasty decision. But now we recreated it, and that's where I'm going to be reposting all sorts of art, character design, comics, <laughs> art tutorials, something to help people get in some inspiration or to, like, boost notes, you know, help a brother out. All right, all right, all right. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been a very stressed out James Cork, even though I did my best not to let it show. And I'm Relicious, rhymes with delicious. And we'll see you guys next week with another quote-unquote fun-packed episode. Bro, take us out. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this podcast, punch that like button in the face like a boss. And hi hoops all around. Thanks again, and we will see all you dudes on the next podcast. Later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.